The anti-stall system at the center of investigations into two fatal crashes involving Boeing 737 MAX aircraft is likely to have contributed to Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302 coming down shortly after takeoff from Addis Ababa earlier this month, the airline's chief executive has said. Airlines Boeing 737 MAX anti-stall system, active during Ethiopian Airlines crash, Tawalde Gebra Mariam told the Wall Street Journal the aircraft's maneuvering characteristics augmentation system, MCAS, which is designed to automatically correct the angle at which the aircraft is flying if it becomes too steep, was to the best of our, Ethiopians, knowledge active when Flight 302 crashed. Investigations into the fate of Lion Air Flight 610, which crashed into the Java Sea last October shortly after taking off from Jakarta, suggest the aircraft's MCAS was also in play, with a combination of an erroneous sensor input and the MCAS causing the plane to nosedive. Transcripts of the cockpit voice recorder from the Lion Air aircraft last week revealed the pilots searched through the aircraft's manual to find a solution. All 189 people on board were killed, as were all 157 people on board the Ethiopian flight. Gebra Mariam's comments come after Ethiopia's transport minister, Dogmite Mogas, said flight data from the black box aboard Flight 302 showed the aircraft's altitude fluctuated sharply shortly after takeoff, similar to the Lion Air flight. Chief Executive Gebra Mariam has since issued a statement in which he said he didn't want to speculate further as to the cause of the crash, but added, many questions about the 737 MAX remained and that Ethiopian would cooperate fully with crash investigators. He also reiterated the airline's belief and confidence in manufacturer Boeing. Boeing is holding briefings this week on its forthcoming software and training updates for the 737 MAX, the software patch understood to focus primarily on deployment of the MCAS giving pilots manual control for the system. Last week, Garuda Indonesia cancelled its order for 50 of Boeing's 737 MAX aircraft, while Samoa Airways is understood to have followed suit. Boeing grounded the 737 MAX out of an abundance of caution after the aircraft was banned from operating throughout much of the world, save for North America. Air